possible. I just have a couple of items for you at the top. Uh, today, uh, the White House Task Force on Worker Organizing and Empowerment, led by Vice President Harris as Chair and Labor Sec and as well as Chair as Chair and Labor Secretary as well as Chair and Labor Secretary Walsh as Vice Chair, released publicly the report it delivered to President Biden that includes nearly 70 recommendations to promote worker organizing and collective bargaining. The recommendations include ways to increase private sector workers' access to information about their existing right to join or organize a union, a hugely important issue for the President. The President accepted the recommendations, and as a follow-up, the task force will submit a second report to the President uh, in six months, which will describe progress and implementation and contain additional proposals for further action. I uh, also wanted to note that today the Secretary, uh, Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, will be announcing that the Partnerships for Climate Smart Connection Commodities Program, in which the Department of Agriculture will invest $1 billion in partnerships to support America's climate smart farmers, uh, ranchers, and forest landowners. So these funds will go to projects that promote farming, ranching, and forestry practices that either remove carbon from the atmosphere or cut greenhouse gas emissions. In the Investment is the latest Biden administration initiative aimed at combating climate change with a goal to cut the farm sector's greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030 and put the United States on a path to net zero emissions by 2050. Finally, I want to note I have a Team USA water bottle out here today and a Team USA pin out here today. Uh, as you all know, we made a decision, the United States, not to send a diplomatic Del or official delegation to Beijing, uh, given the PRC's ongoing genocide and crimes against humanity in Xinjiang and other human rights abuses. Uh, and that was a clear statement uh, and a clear policy made by our government. But at the same time, uh, we wanted to note Team USA has our full support. We're behind them. We're watching from home. Uh, we want to thank them and their families for everything they have sacrificed uh, over the course of time. Uh, lots of athletes to watch. I'll just give a plug because I'm an Olympics-obsessed person. Nathan Chen, we're going to watch him. Chloe Kim, Michaela Schifrin, you've got lots of more chances. Anyway, we'll be rooting for our U.S. athletes, even as we made a very important statement about uh, our concerns about Beijing's and the Chinese uh, human rights abuses. With that, um, let's go 